So one of the interesting things about Onshape is the fact that, you know, being a cloud-based application, of course, means you can use it on the browser, use it on different types of computers. But not only that, it works on tablets, it works on phones, it works on any device as well. It's not just a viewer like you typically see in the market, it's actually a full editing suite of tools just like you have in the browser. You know, the first thing that you do is you log in, and that's really all you need to do. So when you log in, on the iPad, you're presented with the documents page. Now we can open up parts, we can open up assemblies, we can open up drawing. We can show the pull downs, things like filleting, ex uh, shelling, extrusions, those are all there. Patterning, it's, it, it's the entire full editing tools just like you would have with the browser. Now you get some extra stuff because you are on the tablet, so being able to pinch in and out and rotate the model is something you do with your fingers. One of the nice things on the tablet that I like is that we can use a magnifying glass without having to zoom way in. So it's a nice little feature that lets you select your geometry and not have to do a lot of in and out, zooming in and out. So, you know, if you think about it, a tablet really doesn't have a lot of horsepower when you consider, you know, professional grade CAD. And it doesn't matter with Onshape because all the calculations are being done on the cloud. So if we look at this fillet, it's being calculated, you know, basically in real time, yet I'm not on a some super high-end horsepower computer. It's a parametric modeler, so of course you want to make changes to it, and in this case we can even visually interrogate this model by rolling back and seeing how it was built. Like if I go back up here, I can see that there's some modeling steps, I can use the rollback bar to go down a little bit. Sketching is full constraint-based parametric sketching. You know, we have different types of arcs, circles, lines, boxes, splines, everything's there. You know, if we'll just let's just add a simple cutout here to show exactly how this works. You know, you drag it out, you can add a dimension if you want, you can change the size of that dimension. You also might want to actually take that and add or remove some material, so we'll just extrude that out. And again, notice that I can take and drag it to different directions. You look at the dialog on the uh, extrude, all kinds of options, standard options, adding material or removing material. All of your expected capabilities are there. You know, a lot of people didn't think you could do this on an iPad and, you know, we're kind of saying, well, why not? Why shouldn't you be able to do it? Also, at this point, you might want to go in and take a look at sharing this model with somebody. I might want to collaborate with one of my team members and I can do that by going to the share button and I can add their email address and we are all, you know, off to the races. And I've just shared that model with somebody and now they can go in and they could actually work at the same time. We could actually have some people on a browser, some people on, on a tablet, it really doesn't matter. They can all work together. We can make changes and merge them together using branching and merging. I mean, we could go on and show a lot of different features, but the point is the entire suite of modeling tools available to you here on a you know, simple device. This is the product. It's the product that you can run on the, on the iPad or you can run it on your browser on any other device. So we let you do everything on any device.